Today, Kevin and I have two fun items to try for you from Market Side. Uh, this is the Market Side Peppermint Candy Cane Dip. I have the Bacon Jalapeno Popper Dip. Uh, these were $5.74. Market Side is a Walmart brand. They were $5.74 a piece at Walmart. And honestly, they're such, they sound like they're such strong flavors. It's hard to decide which one to review first mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, once you try the peppermint, is that going to make everything taste like peppermint? I would think do the peppermint first. Okay, that's what I think mm. because it's sweet. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking jalapeno. Well, we have a plate here. We have uh, Ritz crackers. Sweet and savory. Yeah, Ritz crackers we're going to try with the jalapeno popper. And then the uh, the we have some Nella wafers, Nella wafers uh, to try with the, uh, the candy cane. Although Ritz would have been fine. I tried to say that, but she refused. You know what? I think you should take a Ritz and put it in here after the Nella wafer, and you can see what you think of it. Okay? Maybe. Because that's what she, he said at the store. He wanted to try this like with the anything. Ritz. Anything with a Ritz is Well, good. I think you should definitely put it to the test and okay. see if you think we'll it's see. better. Okay, so this peppermint candy cane dip is cream cheese, whipped cream, and real candy cane bits. Mm -hmm. Great with graham crackers or vanilla wafers. We thought about buying graham crackers, but... Yeah, but Nella wafers are, are plainer. Yeah. So it seems like Nella wafers would be a... a that way we can really taste the flavor yeah. of it. Now, these were... At the deli. Yeah, uh, where they sell the birthday cakes and stuff, right? Yeah. 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 So, so that's... Now, a bit, now, that was a bigger Walmart, like our Walmart in the deli. I don't know where these would be, because they don't have a section with just, um, like, they don't put cheeses and stuff. Oh, I know where it'd be back. It'd be back in the back where the, um, the, the meats and stuff are in the back. Yeah, thanks. In that little cooler. There's a cooler right there in the center. You really? Sell you think that's stuff? where these would be? Yeah, that's the deli where they sell sliced meats and stuff. Yeah. That's in the back. Huh. Okay. Our deli and bakery are not together, whereas like the one we went to in Lexington, they were together. Yeah, we went to a bigger Walmart. Uh, let's see. You have to get your magnifying glass oh, out. Oh, <laughs> Peppermint candy cane dip. Two tablespoons is 100 calories. Wow. <laughs> okay. Scoop you up a big old scoop there. Yeah, really. It looks like frosting. That's the texture. It tastes like cream cheese and, and ground up um, candy canes. There's, uh, I didn't get any crunchy pieces though. Uh -uh. But it says real candy cane bits, and it has it. You can see them. This is any crunch to it. No, it's all smooth. Mm. Um, it's good though. You think? Yeah, it was good with the Ritz, by the way. Was it good with the Ritz? But you get salty with the Ritz, so I think it's. I won't say it's good. It's okay. It's it's edible. A, yeah, it's something you could easily make at home. Buy a thing of cream cheese and uh, some candy cane pieces and grind them up and put it in there, it's gonna be the same thing. The flavor reminded me of like a peppermint ice cream, but not a really good, strong candy cane ice cream. I have nothing against the flavor. It's the texture. I'm disappointed. I fully expected- wanted the crunchy bits. I wanted the crunchy bits. Yeah. I wanted those crunchy bits and it has none. It's mm. all, um, soft cream cheese. It's soft. Yeah, yeah, it's like a yeah, it's soft cream cheese dip. And I, I feel wanted, that way I mean ice cream too. Yeah, I wanted that extra crunch. I wanted that extra texture. Now some of you are gonna be like, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad there's no crunchy pieces. Mm -hmm. I'll go buy that. And it it does have a nice candy cane yep. flavor. It reminds you of candy cane ice cream. It really does. Yeah, and this would be nice to have at a party or something like that. I personally wouldn't get it again though, because I'm missing those bits. Yeah, I've had we've had ice cream before where it looks like it has little crunchy bits mm -hmm. in there, and then you scoop it up, take a big bite of it, and it's like it's all smooth. Yeah, it's just, just it's playing with you. It's just like little coloring dots. It's yeah, never, and it's just or it's all melted and you don't get anything. So when you have something built up in your mind like that, it's kind of like oh. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is kind of disappointing. Yeah. Okay. Bacon. Jalapeno popper, cream cheese base dip made with a blend of green chili peppers, Monterey Jack cheese, jalapenos, and bacon. 
Two you, tablespoons. A bunch of this stuff, though. It's seventy calories, and this is running. I can, it's, oh, really? Yeah, and yeah, you. It's, oh, it's uh, got a little bit of liquid in there. It's, it's not yeah. a lot, though. Okay. Now this one has some chunky pieces. And I can. You, and you don't want to eat that with a vanilla wafer. No, I don't want. I definitely <laughs> want the reds. Let me get a big old hunk. Oh, you're supposed to heat it. You can. Tastes very hot or cold. Oh. That was like, either way. now you tell me? Wow. Heating instructions. Ooh. It's under the lid. Scoop contents of the container into a microwave safe bowl, because this is not yeah, microwave safe. Um, for one minute. Stir if needed. Microwave for 30 second increments until desired temperature is reached. Content, uh, caution. Contents will be hot. They're already hot. Um, <clears throat> well. I mean, dag on. That, um. I get a little bacon, but man, it just kills me with the heat. Bam. It, it, it's. Ooh. I love jalapenos. That's hot. It's That's, very it's hot. very, very, very hot. And. And jalapenos don't affect her as much as it does me. No. So you can imagine. No, it, it's literally <laughs> very, very, very... Yeah, like flaming Hot Cheeto hot. Yes, that's how hot it is. It truly is. Wow. But the bacon is so strong. I love the bacon flavor. It's so strong and so... It, it Do you not know, like the bacon flavor? It's, it's a little bit too much for me because I'll tell smoky. you why. Yeah, yes, it's too smoky because... It reminds me of bacon bit. Bacon that's bit. that's the yeah. intensity of the bacon. I can is see that. bacon bit bacon. So when I belch three <laughs> hours from now, guess what's gonna come back? Bacon. Yeah. Not candy cane. Bacon is gonna come back. It's gonna be like bacon oh. bits are the worst. Yep. They have more comeback flavor than ever. Yes, they do. Than anything. Uh, yeah. If you have something with bacon bits on it, then uh, you, you know it you know what we're talking about. That's a chemical. Um. I would not get that again. I, I don't. I would. I don't mind the flavor. I don't mind the bacon flavor. Um, it's not a bad flavor. But it's way too hot for me. It, it's very, very hot. You are gonna have to know your audience. If you plan on having that at a party, or put a put that a little needs toothpick, to have a, yes. put a little toothpick on there saying hot. <laughs> that needs to have a warning on it that it's hot because yeah. people. Uh, some people, I mean, wouldn't be able to handle that. No. But let me say though, the quality is really, really good. Yeah. It's a very thick dip. Mm -hmm. It's got tons of stuff going yeah. on in there. Um, it's very good dip. It's just too hot. Now we didn't try it hot. What do you think? I don't think it'll make any difference. I think it'll it, just. I think it'd be good either way. Wise, I, I still think it would taste good. I think it'd be good either way. Honestly, I don't like my dips cold anyway. I don't like hot dips necessarily. The only hot dip I like is that buffalo chicken dip I buffalo make at, at, at oh New Year's. Oh my gosh. But, but that's yes. the only one I like hot. Any cream cheese based thing, I don't like kind of cool. Right. Um, I personally would not buy either one of these again. I it's, wouldn't either. I think this would be really cool if you had a kid's party. Yeah. And, and you put it out in a container and, and they get out. But I hate to say this, with all the COVID and stuff like that going around and people really worried about Being sharing sick. stuff. I don't know where you would take this to a party and eat because you, can, you can't put it in a bowl and let people scoop it. I know because now I guess you could have somebody could put a spoon on your plate and then you could eat it. I guess taking but, stuff into work is not the different. same as it used to be. Yeah. Um. Really, it should be just bring your own, <laughs> bring your own lunch, or eat lunch on your own and then show up to work. Don't you know? I don't know how people are doing it these days uh, because I don't work outside the house. But um, I, I would be pretty particular about... Yeah, the ours is all meetings and box lunches. I guess what you would do, though, is you would put a spoon in there. And yeah. people would get a spoon and plop it on your plate and go on. That's how you would do that. Um, but I just, I think... I think that if, if I had to buy one, it would be the candy cane. And it would only be for, like, a kid's birthday party or a kid's uh, Christmas party or... It wouldn't be for adults. That's just... I truly wouldn't want to buy either one of them. Oh, All my heart really. wouldn't buy either one of them. But if I had to choose, like this is a would you rather question, I have to choose, I'll pick the jalapeno. I couldn't. I couldn't because that is just so like... See, I think it has a nice candy cane flavor. It just does, doesn't have any texture. but I'm just, I'm so disappointed in the texture that it just ruined it. Yeah. I've had ice cream the same way. So. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.